Hi everybody, I'm back again because I've got quite a lot to tell you today. Um, we've got a new book out, which I'll mention first of all. No, I'll go through the list. We've got a new book out. Uh, I also want to say that the Aliens book, which was the last one we made, is now out in printed format. So if, if anybody wants to buy it from Amazon or whatever, um, you can. And I want to say a very special thanks to Guy, Scott and Paul, who helped me with all this YouTube stuff and without which, and the Great White Brotherhood stuff, without which, honestly, none, none of what you see would be done. Um, and then I'm going to mention an internet show that I'll be on next month. I'll talk about that in a minute. And I'm going to say something else. And, and then I want to talk to you about, ultimately, about the Tunnel of Light that people talk about. Anyway, let's start all over again, right at the beginning. We've got a new book out, and it's called DNA Beyond Physicality. DNA Beyond Physicality. And you can already download it for free on our site, www.thegreatwhitebrotherhood.org org forward slash books forward slash i'll put it in the description down below so if you didn't get that don't worry now you may think that dna is just about um the police and so on taking blood samples to try and catch criminals and so on but it's not it's much more than that in fact it's a lot more than that and all this so-called junk dna is actually a vital element of um, of existence in, in life, and it goes on through the various dimensions uh, out into the galaxy. It's difficult to imagine them, that the galaxy's got DNA, but apparently it has, and uh, that's what the book's about. It, it describes virtually every aspect of DNA, not only in physicality, but in all the different dimensions. And it's a complete book. It's not, it's not that long. I think it's 90 odd pages long. It's, it's not, a, but it's an extremely interesting book. And it will mention stuff that you, you would never have heard anywhere else. Okay, so enough about that. I already mentioned that the Aliens book is now out as a printed book if anybody wants to buy it. I'm going to repeat a special thanks to Guy, Scott and Paul who organise all the behind the scenes stuff that um, obviously none of you know goes on but without them what, you, what, what we do wouldn't happen. <laughs> Vital elements in the whole setup. Now, this is, I think, important. I've been invited to go on a show, an internet show, and it's and it's called now. Where are we? It's called the Jeff Dawati Show. Now, Dawati, I believe, is spelled. It's Jeffrey. The first name is Jeffrey, then Dawati, D-A-U-G-H-E-R-T-Y. D-A-U-G-H-E-R-T-Y. The Jeffrey, Jeff Dawati Show. And um, it's on internet. It'll be going out on YouTube. It'll be going out live on the 19th of October. That's in just under a month from the moment I'm making this video, um, 19th of October at 7 p.m. PST. What does that mean? Pacific Standard Time. I'll repeat. The Jeff Dougherty Show, and it's at 7 p.m. on the 19th of October, Pacific Standard Time. And it will be going out live... I'll be doing my best to answer questions that people would give to me or ask me. And um, 
uh, people can go into the chat room, I believe, as it's going out live, and ask questions and so on. Okay. Now, there's something else I want to mention. Um, you may know that. <clears throat> excuse me. You may know that. All that we do is totally free. But I just learned the other day that it's not totally free for our webmaster. And in fact, he told me, I hope he doesn't mind me mentioning this, that so far he spent $1,500 um, getting all this set up. Now, <clears throat> we don't beg for money, we don't ask for money, but on our website... We've got a, a thing where it's marked donations. <coughs> Do excuse me. Um, donations. If anybody wants to help Guy, the webmaster, with a donation, he'd be quite welcome. Now, I'm going to mention one other thing. On some of the sites that we put printed books, we are apparently obliged to put a small charge. The, the people that print the books, obviously they, they put a charge for their printing costs and we don't make anything from the, the books but um, sometimes we're obliged apparently to make a small personal charge. Now, what we're going to do with that, if anybody has to pay any amount of money to get our books, we're going to put that together and give it to either poor people or charities or whatever. We're going to give all that money away. It won't be a great deal of money, but we're going to give it away anyway. Okay, but if you want to give a donation to Guy to help him with his uh, the money that he spent setting, setting the, the, the site up, I'm sure he'd be um, <laughs> only too grateful. Now... I will stop there, if I may, and I'm going to read you <clears throat> something I got from the Great White Brotherhood the other day about the Tunnel of Light. Now, you may well have heard that when people die, they're faced with a tunnel of light, and people say, oh, whatever you do, don't go down that tunnel, it's a trap and blah, blah, blah. I'm going to read you what the Great White Brotherhood told me, OK? OK. Let me just move the microphone if I can. Right. This is from the Great White Brotherhood. We are deeply concerned about the growing information circling on internet about avoiding at all costs the tunnel of light that many go into when their incarnation on earth ends. As we have explained, when that moment arrives, a number of events that leads a person to heaven can occur. Quite often, a loved one, a friend, or a member of the family arrives to escort the newly liberated person to the heavenly spheres. Equally, the person may find himself, seconds before his demise, in this beautiful tunnel of light that will conduct him to the light. This light is heaven, and when he steps into this bright area, he is met by a noble soul that is there to greet him and explain, explain his change of status. Now, for various reasons, people are spreading a message on social media that this is a trap and the person will be captured and sent back for another incarnation. Equally, they say that if the person who is coming to the end of his, of his incarnation is visited by loved ones, this also is a trap, and those loved ones are in fact demons pretending to be loved ones, and the object is, once again, to entrap the person dying and push him into incarnation again. These are dangerous lies, and one should not listen to them, 
And certainly, one should not try to avoid going to heaven, whether it be by the tunnel, or tunnel of light or by friends or family guiding them. We cannot express too strongly that one should, at all costs, reject this dangerous misinformation. The origin of the message is arconic. Some people promote this false information quite innocently as they just quote collective wisdom. But others are under the influence of negative entities and promote these lies because of that influence controlling their speech and actions. If a person avoids taking the path to heaven, he has to go somewhere when he is liberated from his physical body. So he goes to a place called limbo. This is an area full of lost souls and, generally, the people there are deeply unhappy. This unhappiness is food for the evil ones who thrive on unhappiness. Therefore, we have this conflict going on that must be stopped as soon as possible. On one hand, we have evil or misguided people promoting this false idea of going to heaven. And on the other hand, we have the workers for salvation trying to educate the public to act in a loving, peaceful fashion to help the ascension process. So people must choose either to follow this evil archon-based concept of avoiding the tunnel of light or avoiding being taken to heaven by loved ones, in which case the person will end up in limbo, or to reject that archon-based information and accept, accept our advice, which is to go into the tunnel with the assurance that you will end up in heaven or go with your loved ones who also will guide you to heaven. We repeat, you have a choice, either to reject the tunnel of light and reject the loved ones who come to assist, or to enter the tunnel, accept to be guided by loved ones, and be taken to your home in heaven. You have free will. What you decide to do will happen. So, choose to be guided by our Archon information, or choose to be guided by God's angels. And that's the end of that. So I hope you understand that all this nonsense about avoid the tunnel of light, avoid going with uh, loved ones at all costs, is an archon-based lie. And if you accept that, when you come to the end of your incarnation, if you reject the tunnel of light, and if you reject going with your family or loved ones that come to greet you, you will end up in limbo for a long, long time. So please do not reject this information. The one thing that is certain in life is that we will all come to the end of this incarnation one day. And it is essential for your happiness to go either into the tunnel of light and be taken to heaven or to accept the help of family and loved ones and let them guide you to heaven. If you refuse to go, you'll end up in limbo. Now, I can't make it any plainer than that, okay? So I'll stop there. I'm just going to do a quick um, resume. We've got this new book out called DNA Beyond Physicality and you can get it from our site, uh, pl plus all the other books, plus a whole mass of information from www.thegreatwhitebrotherhood, all one word, .org, 
forward slash books forward slash as I say I'll put it down there now um, I mentioned that Aliens is out as a printed book and I will mention this this show that I'm going to be on the hosts are Jay Campbell and Jeffrey Doherty I forgot to mention it Jay Campbell and Jeffrey Doherty and they are very nice people they've been very kind to me in the emails we've been sending backwards and forwards and I'll be very happy to do this show which is on October the 19th at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time okay so I'm going to stop there thank you very much for listening to me I hope you've taken into account what we said about this tunnel of light and so on it is very very important or it will be one day when your incarnation comes to an end okay uh have i got anything else nope that'll do okay try and read the book if you can and please try and listen to this show either live or it be recorded and you'll be able to watch it later but if you can watch it live and maybe comment if you want You'll be very welcome. Okay? Thank you. Bye.